Today, a bill was introduced into Congress to, quote, ban DEI in medicine. According to the bill, it would cut off federal funding for any medical school that has diversity, equity, and inclusion offices of any type. My name is Joel. I'm a medical student, but online I'm better known as the medical mythbuster, and I have a lot to say, so bear with me. Right off the bat, I have to say that people do not know what DEI is. It's often thought of hiring practices or admissions, but it's way more than that. But I want to show you what the authors of this bill are concerned about from their own mouths. Precious classroom and clinical time is now devoted to such issues as climate change, homelessness, policing, and other social issues that doctors cannot change. So in summary, they're worried about teaching about climate change, even though studies have shown that climate-driven warming and air pollution is going to increase the amounts of asthma. They don't want to talk about homelessness, even though the rates of emergency department visits has increased significantly by people that are homeless. They don't want to talk about policing, even though health and policing overlaps, especially when we talk about mental health crises. These are issues that doctors are already having to address and are struggling with because we never got the education for it. It is a fact to say that medicine at its core was designed for white, male, able-bodied individuals. It's why medical equations like the GFR equation are having to be rewritten to remove race. Why medical devices like pulse oximeters still don't work equally in darker skin tones. For the first time in history, these problems are being addressed. And this bill is a response to that. It's a bill rooted in ignorance, fear, and a refusal to share power, privilege, and knowledge with communities that have been disenfranchised. If your congressman is one of these people, I highly recommend you reach out to them and let them know the harms that this bill will have.